Hello, and welcome back to this edition of Daily Actives brought to you by Bootleg Macro. I am Dustin. This is the show where we review the most active stocks on Yahoo Finance. If you watched my video yesterday, you did see me cover SMCI. What an ugly day they had. Now, we're going to be covering it here. I'm going to go ahead and update my model. Uh, the reason why I like to show people actually me changing it and seeing how the data comes through is because I want everyone to know that Google Finance data is free and available for everyone if you just want to be able to build yourself something inside of Google Finance. Looks like we got a little bit of an error there. We're going to pull that down. There we go. Now, one of the things that I would say is most remarkable at uh, SMCI is that you had what looked like a bullish move. Actually, you didn't. If we look at this chart going back all the way to February of this year, this thing has been essentially on a downtrend. Bearishness has been in the, the has been in the tea leaves for S, uh, SMCI for a while here. And when we really think about where we came from, essentially $50 two days ago to $29 today. Now, I know they had some sort of catalyst. I really don't care what the, fin the fundamental catalyst was. All I care about is paying attention to it on a math basis. And a math basis is I want to compare it to itself what it's been like, its volatility, its volume, and the overall price. Now, if we think about where the price is, it is below the five-day moving average, well below the 23-day moving average. And today, we saw a continuation of the move lower. Uh, what, I, what I don't like about this, especially if you're a long, is that you saw a gap down, then another gap down. That has got to be incredibly painful when you're down 32% in one day and nearly 12% in another day. Yikers. Now, if you want a really easy methodology of just understanding, just don't buy things that are on a negative rolling three-month return. Like, you don't have to. It doesn't take a genius to realize that, like, oh, if it's negative on a three-month rolling return or a five month rolling return, like a five month rolling return for me, that is a humongous signal that it is negative. This is the weekly breakout of what the data looks like right now. I just don't understand why anybody would be buying those things. I mean, some people like to buy when there's breakouts. Some people like to buy when there's breakdowns. I'm honestly more of a swing trader inside of its own range. But if we look at SMCI right now, you can see we're going to go short, go short, go short. We really flipped from that uh, go long, go long. Now, if there's any issue with my own model, it's that the fact that, and, and I will be very fair about this, my model will take a long time to update, especially when you have gaps. If you've got gaps like this, for my model to actually register that, like the go short and the go short and the go short, that's a short-term indicator to give you an idea of how to trade. When I'm looking at the trend, this thing would technically still be bullish because the moves that we saw here in October, it wasn't a lot of wiggle, but it was at least going up. I mean, the thing went from at the bottom here in September at 38 up to nearly 58 in October. And then things got obviously much worse. And the place that you're going to see this trend here, if you're thinking about it from the short term, intermediate term, and longer term, is in the rolling sentiment. So this is where you're going to see it, is that essentially this thing was incredibly bullish coming into it, and then it has completely flipped. Like on the 10-day rolling bullishness, we were at 60% on the 29th. We are now at 45% and well below the 50 marker. We look at this trend indicator. You can see, so if you've never watched my videos before, this is a trend indicator, which is generally going to try to stay within 60% and 40%. To get up to 60% bullish and get down to 40% bullish, but it can never really get to 100% bullish or 100% bearish. The reason is because that's not how a market works. A market is buyers, a market is sellers, and a market is everyone in between. Now, when we look at what's going to be happening at SMCI, I would say that you're going to see more of the same. The unfortunate part is that now we go from having essentially one of the bear key three to five of them as tomorrow. We are going from having maybe one to two bullishness, but I really don't expect that to be really strong. And to be fair, probably the most concerning thing to me is that I'm seeing a one month bear trigger. Uh, we did get the one month bull trigger, but I think that had more to do with where we were coming from and what the setup looked like. But honestly, now that you see this, why would you go along? Like, tell me, what, what are you doing? You just trying to lose money? You're trying to you're trying to save some taxes. Are you really just trying to focus on like maybe I can maybe I'll buy the bottom? Why? There's so many things going up in this market right now. Like, and I'm serious. Like, if you want to be honest, just buy Qs. Like, we're gonna see the difference between the Qs and the SMCI in just a second here. Why would you buy semiconductors when you can buy this? Like, that's a gap down. That's had a bad day. Why wouldn't you buy that? Like, at least you're in a bull market. I mean, goodness. If you want to do that again. If you want to buy semiconductors, just buy NVIDIA. It also didn't have a great day today, but why would you not just buy that? SMCI right now doesn't look like anything that I want to put my money in, my family's money in, or anybody that I care about's money in. So tell me what you think in the comments below. Are you long? Are you short? Do you like it? Do you love it? Is this even a good review? And before you go, subscribe to the new high newsletter. Uh, we give you 25 stocks to your inbox every single Sunday. Stocks breaking up to $5. Stocks Actually, stocks breaking up from 5 to $20. Stocks breaking up to one-year highs. Stocks breaking up to all-time highs. It's a great trading list to get your trading week started. I'll talk to you soon.